<laughs> I am Harleen Flowers. I am a poet pretending to be a painter, pretending to be a visual artist, using the canvas as an instrument and a weapon to transfer love. Approaching a blank canvas starts sometimes days, weeks, months, and even years before you pick up the paintbrush or the oil stick and put the colors and the shapes and the imagery onto the canvas because you bring all of your research, all of your trauma, all of your joy, all of your disappointments to the canvas. And then now it's like it's, it's such an obsession with me where I'm starting to dream about paintings. So this piece right here, um, it's, it, it deals with the dichotomy of the social constructs of like the race and gender of being a black man. Um, whereas the Ralph Ellison, the historical novel, Invisible Man. And it just speaks about in, in a novel about when you're black and you're a man, you're unseen. But this, this, this aspect of being an invisible or seen as an invisible man, and being unseen is, is only when you're trying to like, to advance. So when you're trying to advance and just because of your race, then you're not seen, you're not considered. But then you also have that dichotomy of being under supervision. But then that dichotomy, you can go from being unseen to being super seen. And this is the super predators, this theory that was created at Princeton University about Black children, black teenagers being uh, godless, fatherless, and jobless, being worthy of being incarcerated, charged as adults, given life sentences, given a death penalty. Poetry is, is a form of like just um, liberating myself from myself and societal constructs about myself. And how this transfers to my paintings is that um, very rarely will you see a, any, any painting that I do that doesn't have at least one word on it. Um, and that's just for me being a poet, painting pictures with words. But now being a painter, learn about the, uh, the, the, the spiritual impact of colors and shapes and imagery. So now it's like I have more in my arsenal to work with instead of just words. Be a poet, you have to be raw, you have to be authentic, you have to be what people would say is vulnerable. I don't look at it as being vulnerable, I look at it as being authentic and being transparent about who I am and what I feel. I think it's more a doper experience when I can take what's uh, figurative, figuratively there and abstract from that and create something new that's outside the box that the world hasn't seen and to use this abstraction in a way that um, creates a visual experience through colors and shapes and, and words that um, and it resonates with people in a visceral, like a spiritual, soulful way. Being a nerd or a geek is like something that's like frowned upon, but I'm taking that and rebranding it and making it cool to be smart. Um, because in my community, so many, so many black boys who are intelligent feel like it takes away from their toughness. And they suppress their intelligence and dumb themselves down. And this often leads like, to us engaging in life of crime and someone like myself getting two life sentences at the age of 16 and spending 22 years in prison. You know, you lose so much. So first and foremost, I'm a nerd and I love information and I love learning. With that said, what I'm bringing to the world with my artistry, whether it's poetry, spoken word, painting, or photography, is love. So you got this weird relationship with life, you know, loving life, but then serving the life sentence, and 
um, I realized that a lot of the social inequalities, whether it's political or social economical, they all exist because it's just people don't love themselves. They're encouraged to be everybody else but themselves, their authentic true self. And when you don't have a healthy relationship with loving yourself, it becomes difficult to empathize with other anything, animals, people, air, water, because you don't love yourself. So the greatest thing that I want to use my life for and my art for is to encourage people to love themselves and then to love others.